And we're back with the next installment of our General Nobody's campaign. Here's Germany. Last one, I was playing pretty late into the night, so this is a new day. Need to see how uh, coherent I was at the end of that. So, things are looking good. We've taken Leningrad, which of course is a great start. Um, the weather is starting to get better soon. Still a lot of mud. But we will be driving for Moscow in a little bit here. We've got things set up. We did take out... The rest of the encirclement here in the middle, which is the biggest priority. I'm loving that. Soviet medium tank division. Probably missing a bullet of medium tanks there. Let's check the Soviet numbers. Mm, still about 1.2 million in the field. So we've successfully killed off all the extra guys they were fielding, but we've not driven, taken them any lower. In the south here, my allies did pull out big time, so I may need to send in... Some guys hold Makop in the fuels department up to 1.1 million fuel. A little short on fighter planes, a little short on fighter planes. We're training a bunch to get ready to go duel the Brits. Um, let's take a look at the Brit fighter count, which of course scares me. Yeah, 8.2 of which mostly fighters, I can guarantee anything. 93 factories there. I've only got 75. And I'm definitely have less fighters than they do. So I need to be working on that. Small arms are looking okay. We've started doing the Tigers. And yeah, we started on the small airframes. Making more of them like we should. Um, still going hardcore naval tech. We're going to be starting to produce navy in a little bit here. Because hopefully... Russia falls this year. I'm planning on them falling. We'll see if we'll be able to make that reality. But only 1.2 million men in the field. That's looking pretty good. Once we get the... Well, we could start driving despite the mud. Now, let's take a look at the mud modifier here. Division speed is halved. Everything costs an extra 25% uh, organization loss. 70% attrition, minus 40% attack, supply efficiency hurts, and supply truck attrition is also bad news. So we got to be a little bit careful there. Other targets, do we send troops up to reserve? Maybe, because if we can make a drive to reserve, come south, that is another huge, you know, relatively huge for this part of the game, encirclement and looking good. Um, other things. Kicked the Soviets out of there. We will have to just start season VPs pretty soon here. Let's take a look at the count. We've killed 3.4, and there's almost five mil or 4 million Soviets dead by themselves. Excellent KDR. 217k loss for us, 3.4 million loss for them. We'll need to start a drive on Stalingrad at some point also. Oh yeah, we'll need to take this out too. So those infantry divisions, yeah. Do you have all the planning you need? You do have all the planning you need. 831, ooh, Felix Leapford, first army there, looking good. Um, yeah. Okay, so where else? We don't we only have a few tanks here. Voronezh, Donetsk, or no, excuse me, it's Lepensk. Okay, so we got a good amount here. We know for sure we're going to be driving from here. We're prepping. We're good. There is a little mud, but there's not that. Ooh, that's mud there. It just wasn't showing. Okay, there's actually a lot more mud than I was seeing. So we'll probably wait a little bit longer to figure out where these guys are going. Got three Peter. tanks here. This is not a good route to drive along. So there is about four tanks there we can either send over here to Voronezh. Create that as another big move. And then even come maybe here towards Stalingrad. No, that is a long route towards Stalingrad. Oh boy. You can even take Saratov north of Stalingrad. I don't know, because the, the thing is, we, we do want to pocket... If we get the Soviets down to probably about 800 k still on the field, then it's just over. We can just move around as we please. Um, to get there, though, 
probably taking Rezeb as the sa safest because we just go straight and there is this nice encirclement. We'll capture another, what, six divisions and it puts us close to Moscow just for another pincer around Moscow. So those divisions there are good to go. That infantry's marching, so that's okay. So the second Panzer, sixth, fifth, and ninth Panzer are going to go up here to Veliki Luki. Over there, good. And then these freed up infantry divisions. Lots of freed up infantry divisions. Um. In fact, so many are freed up to the point of almost do I just make a new army and send them all south to free up these panzers? And I think that is probably the smart move. So I'm going to do that. Alright. Um. Okay, you three divisions go over there, yeah, because then you'll push with them. Right. But the rest of you guys are just here doing nothing. Okay, 15th. We're going to have to put you on a new army group. New army. You are now the 5th army. And your general will be Max Winkler. Could do Otto Weber. He was... You've seen some combat already, so yeah, we're actually going to use Otto Weber for this. 1, 3, 2, 1. Well, not the greatest stats, but hey. And Weber, you're going to need a different color because you're going to the south. In fact, let's just make you white. There we go, we got a gray there. And we're going to send you to Rostov, and then you guys can take over the line, and then suddenly 2nd Panzer Group will be freed up to go for Stalingrad or do some cool stuff. Okay. Now, it doesn't sit right that they're in the same unit. So we're going to make their own unit. So we're going to call this, what, Army Group A. Group B it is, and then we're going to call Army Group A, what, the rest of it? Army Group A. And in fact, I'm probably going to go off camera, reorganize a bit, and I'll show you a bit afterwards, because now I'm going to be LARPing a bit. And I'm back after the reorganization. So basically what I've done is I've created Army Group Center. They're going to handle the north also, but more importantly, everyone's driving on Moscow. The north is going to be mostly static. Army Group South here, of course, is going to be in charge of the push on Stalingrad. Uh, we're going to have to get a little creative, get this linked up, and then that is a hard drive on Stalingrad, distance-wise. So we'll need to figure that out. In fact, I may even come around, wait till the push on Moscow happens, then dart east afterwards to get these extra depots here in the north. And then Army Group right. South is under command of Otto Rahl. He was the field marshal that was handling the defense of fronts, which is why he's only got you know 8% experience in his rank 1. So that's going to be very hard for Army Group South. Um, our other field marshal, Anton Berglin, is rank 3, getting towards 4. He's about 6% of the way there. Uh, he's got way better stats. Most, most importantly, logistics is going okay for him. Right. As far as our army commanders, Leapfurt is rank 5, best infantry commander by far. He's 8315, so great stats there, especially that 5 logistics right. score. Uh, Berglin, Berman, excuse me, Herman Berman is our best panzer leader. He's almost to rank 6. Once he hits rank 6, I'll see what stats he gets because he, I might make him a field marshal then. Just because that, those kinds of great stats could just get passed off to a whole bunch of other units. Um, other choices. Second Army, Tobias Meyer. How close? Nope. Uh, Salty oh. rank 4. And Herman Stotzer of the 3rd Army is getting a little closer to rank 5. All, again, a good supply score. So supply consumption does matter big time. Speaking of that, we are in 1942, which means we can do our next logistics company. So I'll let these stats finish up, keep working on Navy, but then getting our supply count down again would be a very big deal because we're in the Soviet Union, supply sucks, and I've not been building up any. And, yep. So other than that, we've created the new the new 5th Army. 5th Army's going here to the south. They'll take over from the 2nd right. Panzer Army, which uh, used to be Panzer Group 2. And then, of course, Herman Berman up north is still with the 1st Panzer Army. So that is the basic game plan. 
Befehle. Well, that's not where I wanted to send you. Because this tile... Yeah, I think this Befehle. touches barely. That is a pain in the butt. Um, Probably swap those two. The drive on Voronezh. Angetreten. Probably have to make like a miniature encirclement, pop a few units, and then keep driving, realistically. So because of that, let's get all these divisions prepping. Because it's going to be a big push with everything. The Soviet Air Force also is just completely dead. I don't think they have any factories on anything. Um, yeah, I'll take that attack all day. You are going to go nowhere. Let me just look at the stats there. Okay, a little bit of bombing elsewhere. Some some fighters over there. We are training a bunch of new fighters. A little bit of a shortage, but that'll get caught up fat quickly enough. Um, oh yeah, on the new radars. Well, this radar is actually not going to cover too much. This western radar station, though, is a big deal. So that basically covers everything I need to, and hell, it even covers 95% of southern England, which is huge. Hell, it gets 86% of northern England. So, I am loving that. Hmm, pierce my motorized, deals 80% of the damage through it. But yeah, they just deorg themselves so fast. Achtung. So wait for those infantry divisions to come down. Let's fan them out. You guys are going over here. You'll cover that move. Do I need to have other divisions Befehle. on the front? Let's put you here. Befehle. And these other divisions, where can they go to make a good impact? Over here. They can definitely come over here, free up the I'll line, so then the Panzer divisions can get on the front. Knock up the speed a little bit. Any, they say they have JU-87 as enemies, what? That's gotta be a game bug, because... I'm the one J J U eighty sevens, but okay. Uh, my intel advantage has come down big time, though. That makes me wonder: Do we need a little extra encryption? Probably. We'll go ahead and finish up those encryption techs. Achtung. They're putting more guys into this pocket. Actually, they could start moving through that pocket if they wanted to very quickly. So we need to fix that up. So we're going to fan out these divisions here. Okay, those divisions will be fanned out conveniently to where my four panzer divisions are. So then guess what? Those four panzer divisions are freed up to go crush that little pocket. Also another submarine there. Oh my god, Italy is holding on. What a champ around Tobruk. Uh, should I be sending Air Force over here? Yeah, I probably should. United States fighters, UK. Aussie's got some fighters over there. Because the reality is, I don't need a boatload of fighters here on the Eastern Front. I mean, they got, like, next to nothing left. So I can have some over there. Um... Let's let him catch up. We're nearly out of the deficit there. Okay, that tank division goes there. There you go. You two tank divisions. Prep you for that attack. Prep you. Start prepping also. Okay, so this weather's starting to look better. We're gonna... Well, let's get
getting into May. Right. So we're looking okay. We're going to start an attack right. relatively soon. And honestly, you All two right. divisions are going to get transferred over to Felix Leapford in the first, uh, just because you're oh. in his sector. So that'll keep it easy. What the hell happened there? Alright. Okay, let's try this again. No divisions. Why no divisions? Achtung. Oh, because you're being told to go somewhere else. Alright. And you were actually told behind the front line, so you could have up. Achtung. Okay, gave leap for a few more guys. It means we stole them from the third army. Third army is actually looking a little weak. That's okay. Um, well, these guys can actually be transferred to the third army. You can also be transferred to the third army. Okay, see, we put the worse field commander over here for supply, and suddenly it's feeling it. So, we need to fix that. Ausrücken! Ausrücken! Get these divisions over Ausrücken! there. Ausrücken! Get the divisions. Good divisions pulled back. Ausrücken! Oh, so you can go there. Ausrücken! There. Ausrücken! Hold May Cop. Ausrücken! So that'll hold the south. Leaves in about four more divisions here. And... I think the correct move is just to throw up the air. Let's get going. Um, I think that is the move. It's barely in that air zone, but that's what they are. Probably should have thrown up a few more. Yeah, we're gonna have to move some airline to the front here. We'll be over Rostov. Close supports behind the line. We need to see some air bases. In fact, we may even need to start building some air bases. Um, Hello, Smolensk. Okay, hey, you're looking good. We're gonna need some air cover in Novgorod. Are you ready to push? No, the weather's bad up there. So, this is the first move. Is there no mud? There's no mud. Right. Um, what is this? Hungary suggests a reorder of Yugoslavia. Italy. Do I get a claim on Northern Slovenia? What the hell is Northern Slovenia? Ljubljana. I don't know. I would rather not have to go fight. Ugh. Yugoslavia, which a historically ended up in our faction. But we'll say that may not be in the cards. There we go, start prepping that. Okay, air is up. Good. And you know, just go. They're not going to be able to hold me off anyway. So pocket these few divisions here. Because then we'll free this up and then the tanks will be free to go north. There's a little bit of mud there, so yeah, we can wait for these divisions to be freed up and then we'll send the two of the prongs of the first Panzer Army together. Congratulations. That that, so let's pull you. Okay, 
Monaco. Yugoslavia rejects Hungary's demands. See, they're both in our faction, though, so how's that going to work? Is Hungary going to get, like, kicked out of the faction because it declares war in Yugoslavia who's still in the faction? Question mark. I don't know. We'll see. There's the tanks. There's the pins. Hold everything. Well, that division can pierce me a little bit. Yugoslavia joined the Allies. Well, I should have taken my claims there on them. They're only at war with Hungary. They're not at war with me, but I'm sure that's going to freaking switch in like two seconds. So, emergency move out of the defensive theater. Well, let's keep one division still there, and the rest of you guys, congratulations. that. Perfect. Get those guys down there to go hold the line if I need to. Okay, get the infantry divisions over there to cover. Okay, so that's a pocket of three units here. I think there was four originally. Good. Okay, Yugoslavia's in the war. Free France is in the war. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Well. We're going to see his Klagenfurt. Oh, that's cute. Thanks, Hungary. <laughs> well, a small lesson of why you keep, I guess, troops on borders, even if when you they're in a faction with you. Uh, it's a little ridiculous, but okay. So it completely threw me off, though, because historically we should have been devouring Yugoslavia, except they joined the Axis and there was no coup to bring them out. Do I need to send any divisions over there? No, I think we're okay, maybe. They're going to see some territory here, though. Klagenfurt, I th think. What's the highest VP in the zone? No, Salzburg. So we'll do this. That'll put a pin on them. Oh yeah, no, you're a weak trash division. That is not it. I forgot, I did not make real Alpine troops this game. Oh boy. Okay, so we're stopping that shit. No, no, just stay there on Klagenfurt. Star fortifying. Achtung! See, now the question is, can my allies down there wrap that up, or do I need to go over there and fix it? I don't know. Move these Panzer Divisions up. Okay, Panzer Divisions are there. They're looking good. And... Yeah, they're going to be ready for a charge as soon as we're ready to go, so let's get them over to the front line there. We're not going to alter our timetables. Quite as many bombers as we want. Help them on the air. And now where we can use a bunch of our spare bombers that are not being used is over there. We don't have a lot of extra bomber squadrons. Because those are all going to be used over there. Let's see if I can raise any. 
and war medium fighters. Naval bombers should be raising, okay. You could start training. Um, Sixteen hundred, sixteen hundred, perfect. Let's go air superiority, Western Balkans. Uh, Let's get to Graz. Get there. Ausrücken. when to take German soil is uh, Yugoslavia who's not even watching Belgrade but okay whatever okay there we go that fixed up the supply issue a bit um, so where's second panzer army gonna strike out of Aware, aware, aware. I guess you're giving me across the river. I'll take across the river. Um, you're even giving me Sochi. Angetreten. Achtung. Those are mountain tiles to hold, so we'll go for it. Um, right. Need one extra division down there, though. I don't know, did we just try some weird encirclement here um, into our own lines? That might actually be the best move. For the simple reason of it will free up, we'll just whack a bunch of divisions for a good start. All right. Get you out of there so you stop. All right. You're an interesting spot, but you need to get out of here also. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Get them out of there so they're not. Probably for the same resources. Got air dominance. Take a look. I think are we finally ready to begin a little bit of mud? There's only a little bit of mud too. I think we're gonna go for it anyway. So 9th of May here. Our fall version of Fall Blau is about to begin. Don't quite have all the prep we need, but you know, it's good enough. Two divisions there, two divisions straight in. You can just come up here because you're going to be fine. Lepetsk is the first move. Tula's the move. Make some sort of encirclement over there. Look over here. No, we cannot make uh, any moves up there in the north. How wide is one of these divisions? Uh, combat width is only 21. Need to get my motorized a little bit chonkier. Am I going over a river here? I can't see, because we definitely need to take that airfield in morale. Go. 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 So, move north, make the encirclement. Oh, look at that instant cracking. Jeez. That unit is just worthless. Jeez. Oh, the motorized got in there by itself. Now it's going to be slow because we need to reinforce there. Get across, get across. There's definitely a river there. I thought there might be. Go across. I'll put them in a double combat. OK. 
Okay. We go on the front, but actually we've got way too many fighters back here. Everybody that should be able to reach should be over here. Now Brianne's could probably need some stuff moved up. Close air support needs to go closer. You're close enough. One of you. Central Russia is where it's going down. Okay, well, you guys are real divisions. You can push back that crappy little division there. Okay, let's take a look. You're eating a little attrition. That's okay. wait for a little bit of the situation to improve as far as the ground and then we are going for it now what if the air has enough or not feel it all right So we can probably put an extra division down here in Maycop, just so we get some divisions out of this area. And yeah, this is looking like a good little pocket. Let's use some troops. And so we're through. You're going to keep advancing. You're going to quit that. You're going to go across. Hey, you guys can be in the backfield. Where do you go? Come here, swing wider, or do we help take the city? Uh, I think right. we go help take that city. Ungetated. And we attack, and we attack, and we're just gonna come in behind, and make the encirclement. Right. Okay, so we're now through. We now need to get across the river. Now, the part that's Ungetated. not good is there is a whole bunch of oh, mud sorry. there. That's okay. We'll get around it. Um. So we're going to get the pin there. I'm going to send the tank straight across. And then you're going to go this way. And again, try to come over and around. Because although we're going across the river there, I don't think it's going to matter. So apparently we need to keep a few fighters over there so they don't bomb my shit. Okay, we're eating some attacks there. Go, we're in, we're in. Can we get behind you before? Six hours, no. Keep going. Yeah, you're just gonna hold that. Yeah, going into that urban fight, it definitely takes some time. We're piercing, but... Little risky here. It's got plenty of air support too. So we've slipped in behind them. So we've got enough cover there. We're getting a little farther away. That's okay. We need to not jump. Get across. Go. Seven hours. How slow do you be? You'll be there in 20 hours. You'll be there in 13. That'll force the fight. Good. You need to move up. You're over. That's going to kick out what little air forces they have. Go into Lepetsk. Force the double. Get through. Got the first overrun. Go straight into Tula. See, I'm almost wondering should I have swung these guys around behind and made another encirclement? Maybe. 
It's okay, we'll get Tula first. You're running for it. Because you're going to go into Voronezh. That tile actually doesn't matter. So you can just go straight, and you're going to hold the previous tile. So keep going, keep going. The work situation's looking a little rough. We're going into mud. And a bunch of these guys are trying to run. So we're going to go after them. There's that. So we're going to prevent them from running. We're going to take out their entire back line. And let's make sure Yugoslavia is not going to shit like a dumbass. No, but we are massacring a bunch of British planes there, so that's not bad. And you know what? There's fighting going on there. So we're going to switch you to just air superiority. You too. Okay, a bunch of naval fighting. Convoys, etc. These fighters are now all rank 2. So you know what? Let's go help Italy. We can't be letting Italy get bombed like that. There's no reason. So we'll start repairing those factories. Busted airfield in Champagne. We don't care. Smolensk, Bryansk. Your infrastructure is a little low. Okay. I think we're doing okay. What are we starting to lose a bit of? Light tanks, we're not making any. We'll drain them down. Support equipment. Oh, that support equipment's kind of scary. Because, wait a second. How about I click the right screen? Only 800 in reserve is worrying. In fact, that worries me more than the fighter situation. So we'll just put you down to 55 fighters right now. And where's my support equipment? We'll kick you up to 15. And f as far as new ones... I want to keep the coastlines open for dockyards as much as possible. So... And synthetic refineries, you're expensive, but I think will be okay for now. It's Polish. Okay. Oh yeah. How about these tank divisions keep rolling? Jeez. Um. So we're looking good. Got the double combat. Got Tula. I guess you get across the river, so that'll form the bridgehead. We need to wrap up the rest of this. I am looking at this like, man, I should, probably should just send them around here for another encirclement. Just go straight through Kaluga. Smack this. How's your fuel? Your fuel's still fantastic. Honestly, go get Kaluga. Okay, Kaluga, we're going to go for that second circlement. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but I think we will. So the 10th is just going to park there. We're going to need to get it hooked up. Oh, you retreated to a different tile. 11 hours. First Panzer Division, how's your fuel? Still good. Keep running. Berman, you're going to be getting some great stats. You're almost level six. Um, yeah, then once you get there, you're going to need to reorg. Eating a counterattack there. We're looking okay. Tula, my supplies looking okay. Alright. 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 
And you know what? Just complete the pocket. Just don't mess around with it. Get the pocket, then we're good. Just keep moving the infantry up, keep fighting. Keep going. Keep driving. Oh, we've got river supply here. That is fantastic. We'll turn on motorization. Eight days for Tula to get hooked up. Man, this mud is really slowing down things. Holy shit. Okay, there's the pocket. The pocket is formed. We've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen, fifteen divisions here. They're still hanging about that one point two mark, so this will be into the end of that for them. You're still mud. You're coming in. Keep moving. Do you actually need to stay here? Maybe. No, I probably need some extra firepower. So you stole a bunch of infantry divisions away from here. Actually, small ends. You're covered. Oh my. Well, that was a mistake. When I transferred units, it created a big problem, and I didn't see it. Okay. And, of course, AI was not smart enough to use it. But, uh, that was bad. And still mud there. I mean, granted, they attack it, come right behind him and kill him, but still. This is still that other air zone. So you know what? I will keep 200 close air support here to help. How many days until you get hooked up? Eight. Angetreten. Bereit. You'll get into Voronezh. You need to go up there to hold the line. I guess these guys need to come back and just get this wrapped up quickly. Most of the time you can kind of sit and wait. I don't want to sit and wait. I got these guys coming in. I'll put them over here and drive through the mud again. Drive through a lot of mud. Alright. Hold here for now. They get closer. I'll probably send out this tank division. Okay. There's the pin. There's that. Can you win a one-on-one -on -one there? I don't like that. You've also got mud. Oh boy. Say so the pen will take them out, and then we can start driving in from other directions. Prep you. Prep you. Angetreten. 
There's that. Go, go. Go. If they get too close, we'll counterattack. Reorging. Get across the river so we don't get stopped there. You guys need to hit the pin there. It's mud, bad terrain, but hey. I'll buy him time. So we're going to make the too many encirclements. Go before they can retreat into there. I guess you two divisions start going there. Um, you know what? Two divisions there will be enough to wrap it up. Keep going. Keep it moving fast, and maybe I can just get an overrun instead. Maybe I'll have to reconquer Tula. I'm not even sure. Um, no, you guys are good. Go. Because then we'll basically link up the circle with some version of this. Six days. Honestly, we're good there. Lash out to the right. And hold them. Go. You two guys are free. You two guys get to Tula. They, that, these divisions start moving any closer. We're going to have to fight them. Now, hold off for one more day. So that extra or hour. There we go. Now they're there. Now they attack as a unit. So we're, they're going to eat a counterattack. That's okay. Wrapping up the four inch pocket here. Mud, mud. Do you know what? Perfect for the infantry to handle. Panzer Division. Honestly, re strat redeploy up there. You're eating that attack. You'll hold the line here. Honestly, keep pushing. Five days until we have supply. Wow, that one infantry division held me off. Well, that's a little embarrassing. Okay. Getting rid of those guys. Panzer divisions are striking out. Go there to cover Tula. There's the pin. Uh, yeah, you need to pin also. You don't actually need to go there. You need to pin. It might as well just to collapse it. Just be another what four divisions pocketed, not a whole lot, but enough. Be 
because yeah, they're at the point where basically they don't have any extra on the front line. So there's that. You guys go over there for the final encirclement of that heroic 162nd rifle division. So you're coming up. That's good. And then keep going. You need to get up to the Pesk. He's come. He's gonna get that anyway. So you need to keep moving up also. And then as far as that, three more days there. Okay, we've got the next little encirclement here. It's getting pretty far though. We just need to get this hooked up so we can drive into Moscow. Yeah, he's getting supply from the airdrops, and that's the only thing keeping him in the... Okay, start reorging. You get across. You're going there, which is good. Okay, it's looking good. Let's see if Berman leveled up off that. Oh yeah, he did. He's six. Eight, four, five, five. Holy moly. There we go. Got those extra Logi stats, which is important, because uh, now when I kick him to Field Marshal, uh, that matters. Just because it's spread over so many units. Um, yeah, turn off the attack. You guys have done what you needed to. Ludford and the First Army will wrap it up there. Eating the counterattack. There we go. Go there, get on the line. Kick you out of there. Go. <sighs> there we go. Make another mini encirclement. Go. Just keep picking apart a few divisions when we can. Those divisions are screwed. Proved airplane catapult. Great. Honestly, I think we're going to wait a little bit just because we're going to get those dual purpose guns rather quickly. So that's looking okay. Speaking of things, Yugoslavia, good. Consume it, my Axis friends. Um, hmm. There's a few extra fighters than we probably should over there. There's probably some weaker fighters over there as well, so it's not a coincidence. Complete air dominance over the Balkans. That'll wrap things up. Yeah, we're just going to let the Axis Court of Allies handle it, and that may have cost us. Ooh, Tobruk. Well. Losing more U-boats there, which we are not replacing. We are instead building a bunch of destroyers. We do have some U-boats, a bunch of destroyers for our future fleet. And actually, when can I start building my big daddy heavy battleships is the real question. And the short answer is I could have been doing it. Okay, so let's design our big daddy heavy battleships. And historical battleships, yep. Heavy battery. You know what? This is already going to be too expensive, I'm sure. Fire control. Lacks a battery. Now we can save it. We can put radar on it. Oh man, we are not going to have enough. 
Battle cruiser armor? Battleship armor. It's actually better org. I think we go battle cruiser. Let's go battle cruiser, but yeah, we're too expensive. Shit, we need more. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start training. And because we are training, that will give us extra points. Enable the auto split. What else? Yeah, we've got donuts. I mean, we will be making the Navy experience up over time. So we'll just keep producing some crappier destroyers for now. We're going to work on a bunch of battleships, or battle cruisers, and then basically all by naval dockyards. We'll just be on battle cruisers for a bit. There we go. Make the pincer. Go. One more day until Tula gets linked up. Go, go. Two more days for what? Rel here. Maria's on. Wait. Pets is looked, hooked up. You a Rel? No, you're Voronezh. You're a Rel. Oh, Rel's before Tula. Okay. Drive weiter on! Take a look. They are probably at about million manpower in the field. Okay, that's looking good. Speaking of things that are looking good, the south is looking good. There. Get this going, and then I think we're going to start the fight in the south as well. Try to make them enter encirclement here. Just whack a bunch of divisions. Go there. We're gonna get rid of those lines. We're gonna charge straight through. So we're gonna swing around here, and then at the same time we need to swing through the south here. So this will be the first move. Go. And. Actually, we're going to send those two divisions there. We'll just keep prepping for there. Alright, so we're going to start this, try to pocket as many divisions as we can, just to thin out the numbers, and then see what we can push after that. Okay, so let me go and we're wrapping... Oh, you're trying to flee this pocket, you little shit. So we're just going to do that. Okay, reorganizing the line here. We still cannot push up north of Aleki Luki to reserve the... Supplies, sir. The mud situation is just not looking good. Right. You guys are looking okay. Put you over there. And then as far as the line here, uh, probably oh. use an extra division there. Maybe we can get away with two extra divisions just so we have that extra push when the tank divisions come out to get over to reserve. Uh, oh. What are you short on? Can't even tell what you're short on. Okay. And you divisions. Go over there to probably around Tula. Subject to you, you'll hold that. Starting the breakthrough here in the south. Actually, you know what? It's a good time to end the episode. So, Fall Blau is going pretty well. Very unexpected um, attack here with uh, Hungary going after Yugoslavia. But, okay, they're going to get consumed. Uh, Tobruk is back to looking dire because I'm pretty sure all the Axis miners pulled out of North Africa to suddenly go deal with Yugoslavia. Um, our Operation Fall Blau slash Pseudo Typhoon going after Moscow here is looking good. Formed two pockets. About to finish that pocket off. And then our push in the south here is just beginning, but it's looking good. We're going to try to pocket some units and then drive on Stalingrad. So things are looking 
good for now. Let's see who needs some metals, if anybody. There were some cities captured there, so I wouldn't be the craziest. Um, Panzer Division 8, still our most decorated unit. And you know what? It might be a little disappointing. I don't think we have a single medal to pass out. We do not. So, well, okay then. That's a big howdy duty. Uh, we all reorganized our uh, kind of military front, and Herman Berman here, after you seize Moscow, I think you're going to get promoted to Field Marshal, because one, the stats are looking great. Two, um, you're definitely the best of our nobody generals by far. So, with that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.